Welcome back to Views with Hughes or Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. John Boyega, he's a lamenting, as reported from Bonnie into Comics, that Luke, but he's lamenting Luke Skywalker's sequel trilogy story direction. In other words, he didn't like the way how they handled Luke Skywalker with his Disney sequels. All right, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. He was interviewed with um, Vanity Fair where he talked about the nostalgia as a major driving factor in initial fan excitement of surrounding the sequel trilogy, i.e. The Force Awakens. All right, so... He stated that the actual story, however, however, was anything like what fans were expecting or hoping for. In other words, he immediately saw that this isn't what the fans wanted after all these years. OK, so he acknowledged that and he sees that. OK, so he's recorded saying I will always have some level of nostalgia for The Force Awakens to a certain extent. There should have been a Stormtrooper rebellion with more Stormtroopers, you know, um, coming up and rebelling against the First Order. And then to um and then to flesh out Luke's character a bit more, give him more moments of redemption, which I feel like was needed after um um the last Je Jedi. Okay, so that's when he was so what he started off with talking. But then he pointed out, you know, and he says here the most unforgivable flaw other sequel trilogy where the manner in which the original characters were landed he's quoted saying i feel like star wars fans needed more time with the old characters that we love so much now i wish that we all wish that you know he would have said things like this way before and everything but i'm pretty sure he was on the contract as well as the fact that you know the uh, the disney executives at the time and the lucasfilm executives including kathleen kennedy would actually go out against the, the, his words okay the, the like if you don't get along with the program that we uh, get along with our agenda the narrative we're pushing you're out okay so that's how it was and how it usually is in the current day um hollywood okay and then it was also stated here that we're talking about J the trouble starting with the um jj abrams led star wars trilogy when fans were forced to wait until the final seconds of force awakens for to just to see luke skywalker so in other words um he knows that we wanted Luke Skywalker because he was the epitome of Star Wars. It was the Skywalker saga. I mean, come on, you know. And then he, it's like, you know, it was right off the heels that he makes an appearance after Han Solo was killed. And that's and to this day, I'm still upset about that. All right. So um, it says here that that single combination ended up ruining any chances fans had to see their favorite characters united on screen all together again. It wouldn't be until the second film in the trilogy where Luke and Leia were reacquainted again, even though that um, Luke Skywalker appeared in the force in the force vision. OK, and it was handled poorly from that. OK, where he started dying. So then it was like a tweet here from one um, person stating that you have no reason to be embarrassed by that movie. Disney, however, yeah. And then John Boyega replied, literally, that's their problem, LOL. OK, so it, um, and, you know. It's like. Boyega agrees with the fan and where he suggests that Disney should be embarrassed by the um, Disney um, sequel trilogy. So this is why, you know, um, Bob Chapek wants, you know, to handle the movie rights and everything like anything that's Star Wars related or from Star Wars that's being made into the movie. It got to be approved by Bob Chapek. That's the reason why Kathleen Kennedy doesn't want to um, do movies because of the fact that she had to get it approved by him. And we are in the. She knows that he won't approve of the things that she's putting out there because he knows they won't make money. All right. And then got into um details where he sent a scathing rebuke to um doing the GQ interview where he says, You guys knew what to do with uh, Daisy, uh, Daisy really. You knew what to do with Adam Driver, you knew what to do with those other people. But when it came to Kelly Marie Tran, when it came to John Boyega, you know what? F it all. You know, you know, F all you. So what do, do you want me to say? So in other words, he's actually 
he was actually showed his upset after after the um, trilogy was finished and he continued with the rant saying what they want you to say is i enjoy being part yeah basically what i just stated here that if you don't like you got they're gonna give you things to say if you don't agree with what they're putting out there then you're gone all right so he had he was forced to say that say that i enjoy being a part of it it was a great experience nah 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 I'll take that deal when it was a great experience that they gave me give all they gave all the nuance to Adam Driver, all the nuance to Daisy. Really, let's be honest. Daisy knows this. Adam knows this. Everybody knows. I'm not exposing anything. Okay. So then later in 2021, in January, he described the work on franchises Star Wars as working in a luxury jail. So in other words, he didn't really see the um, freedom of expression, the freedom of creativity, any of that. You know, and it's like it took a toll and I can not can actually see that. But, you know, at first I wanted to see I wished that back then I wished, you know, he actually stood out and stated these things. But at the same time, he was on the contract. He was forced to say he enjoys it. He likes the experience. Da, 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 da. And plus, if he wasn't, you know, if he wanted to continue with it, he got to um stay with the narrative and not speak out, speak out against it. Sorry. So. He's it's just that he's still a diehard Star Wars fan. It's just that he's not a fan of the Disney sequels, okay? Because of the storyline and the fact that you know it has like current day politics where it's politically driven and everything with the current Hollywood na narrative. And it's like Disney he's has been attempted to rectify the damage inflicted on the classic um characters by sequel trilogy in indirect ways where luke skywalker made a return at the end of the mandalorian second season and we're going to play a role in book of boba fett and not all fans are happy with the results but it's not surprising we weren't happy with it okay so his sentiment to, towards the handling of luke skywalker his own character and the sequel trilogy as a whole is shared by a lot of us you know now, would that make him a part of the fandom? No, not unless, you know, he actually go ahead and advocate for us, you know, or at least, well, not, I want not, well, not necessarily advocate for us, but because it seems like that's what he's doing here. I could be wrong, but he could actually state here that, you know, if they want to continue with the whole Star Wars, um, the whole Star Wars legacy, then they're going to have to um, let go of the people who are behind it i.e. kathleen kennedy all right and then it also goes in detail about the recent failure of the obi-wan kenobi series and then it's like um talking about you know it's a reception of full of woke property and then star wars and uh, works on star wars and or essentially put the franchise on life support at this point because it also has woke wokeism in it all right so that's all that I had to say for that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think that, or do you agree with John Boyega's words? Or do you believe that, you know, he should have been saying more of this after, you know, the Rise of Skywalker was released? Okay, so what do you think, you know, will be happening with him? Will he continue with indie projects? Or will he go ahead and go back to the Star Wars franchise if Ka Kathleen Kennedy is gone? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, share with me anything that went wrong in the video and be sure to add um continuing thoughts to it when doing things that i didn't cover on this topic and also if you haven't done so and you enjoyed the video please go ahead click that like button and also share this video with everyone on social media and go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the bell notification as well and i'm also let y'all know i'm doing a live stream this friday i'm thinking around 3 30 or 4 o'clock i'm still getting all the kinks worked out with it but until then peace